this is all symptomatic of a really worrying trend that's happened recently, whereby we've seen the same recycled bigotry that was thrown at the suffragettes, Jermaine Greer, you know, feminists throughout the centuries. But every new wave of feminism that comes along, you have a right-wing lobby trying to discredit it, taking the most extreme and uh, most easy to ridicule examples of what a feminist is, trying to undermine equality. What, what, what have you got against the term feminism and, and why can't people like Dominic Rye, why shouldn't they come out and be very supportive of the term? Well, I think, unfortunately, it doesn't mean equality for anyone for everyone anymore. Uh, I think that's what the term meant decades ago. I think the first and second wave feminism cared about equality in the workplace, control over our bodies, things that really make men and women equal. But the reality is that modern day feminism is more interested in talking about sex strikes and getting Formula One to ban the grid girls than it actually is in the issues that I think really. still I mean, really I, face I think, women. as Natasha just said, I don't, I don't hear that very often, sex strikes. I don't hear that so much. It's, so it is, people all would, of the I modern think if you ask people rhetoric, what feminism was, they would say it is essentially about Equality. Well, it's a very good point, because when you do ask women if they're feminists, the majority say no. A study this year found that over 90% of women don't identify as feminists. A more generous study last year found that 65% of women don't identify as feminists because they understand that equality and feminism are no longer synonyms. To be honest, to be a feminist is to ooze a political ideology just as being a party member is these days, because there is a manifesto. And if you hold a different opinion on the gender pay gap or on sex strikes or on porn laws, you're not loud in the club. You're told you're the wrong kind of woman. That's why most women don't identify. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the reason that more and more women aren't identifying with the word. That's a tragedy and it's because mm. of this stereotype that is being pandered by publications like yours and by journalists like you. You know, when I think of the fourth wave feminist, I think of Nimco Ali, who's campaigning to end FGM. I think of Amica George, who's successfully campaigned to end pov uh, uh, period poverty in mm. schools. I think of Ellen Jones, who's doing uh, so much for uh, women with autism. I think, think of Malala Yousafzai. Malala Yousafzai. Yeah, education I, uh, for women in Pakistan. Jes Jessica Foster Q, who wants women in Northern Ireland to be able to choose whether or not they have an abortion. These are the women that represent the movement, but they are never represented by people who want to undermine the movement. Well, no, let's be honest here. They're not represented by. They're not represented by the celebrities, by the Lena Dunhams of the world, who are actually championing the modern day definition of feminism. You just named some fantastic women, but this ideology of feminism is not what's supporting them anymore. See, into, Michael, on to, we had loads of reaction to this. Uh, Michael on Twitter says feminism seems to be an ugly word these days and many feminists seems to be seem to be dictating to other women what they can do and demonizing men in the process it doesn't seem to stand for equality anymore rather than select what it wants I th is that the problem that actually that perhaps Dominic Raab and others don't want to say they are feminist because they think that that means you're anti-men. It's not just Dominic Robb. He no, 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 represents exactly, the majority of yes, women yeah, in this yeah. case, right? Most women don't want to identify that with this because if you are a free thinker, you know, I'm attacked for publications like mine. My publication actually breaks down statistically what the gender pay gap is in the UK. And if you take job and age into account, women are doing very, very well compared to their male counterparts. But goodness forbid I say that. I can't but they're not the club, equal, though, are they, feminist. in lots of places? So in, equality hasn't, isn't there? And what, somebody, but no, 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 sorry. Equal pay for equal work has been illegal since 1970. If that is taking place, you take your employer to court. Women and men are equal in many, many well, aspects since 1919. Let's be really careful about the language they use. In, 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 in many industries, the gender pay gap has been shown that it's not been equal. No, no, yeah, and, it's and, not, that's not equality. We most, need to be really careful most, about this. The gender no. pay gap and equal pay are not the same thing. Sure. If anyone dares to say they are, they're misrepresenting the statistics to women. No, but and and, and, and we are accused of here. not being feminist and not being good women because we're interested in mass, and it's absolutely ridiculous. No, so the most recent statistics shows that the 10,000 companies that have submitted their, um, their um, salaries to a public inquiry. Around 10,000 companies, 8,000 of them, there was a significant difference in the median pay between men and women. Now, you might argue that it's illegal to pay two people doing the same job a mm -hmm. different salary, but we need to ask why, as a society, we are devaluing the work that is generally done by women. That's the real question to be asked of the to gender I would love actual yeah. evidence that we are devaluing the work that women do. Literally just gave it no, to you. No, 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 you didn't. You are trying to take crude statistics and you're trying to be able to say that because of these crude statistics that don't take anything meaningful into account, job, age,
background. You're literally comparing the CEO of a company to the 22-year-old researcher, and you're trying to tell me that this is unequal, that this isn't feminist, that we have a major issue on our hands. I'm saying actually engage with my statistics. Don't just point fingers and tell the majority of women who don't identify as feminist Do you think they're committing that, some kind of um, sin. There is a divide then in terms of there is sort of a modern feminism, but then it, for, for there are millions of women around the world who are still waiting for basic rights. You look at mm -hmm. women in Saudi Arabia, you look at women in other parts of the world who, who are meant to be able to drive, but they can't. Or if they dance, they are persecuted or they, all the abuse that women get on online, you know, we've heard from MPs, Jess Phillips, you know, sort of somebody saying I wouldn't rape you. You know, yeah. all of that sort of stuff is still stuff that feminism needs to be fighting against, isn't it? And, I, and you know what? I used to believe, and I did actually write a piece for The Telegraph in 2013 in which I said, you know, this is what modern feminism is. It's all about banning page three and grid girls and all the things that have been cited already. I had fallen into that classic trap of believing what feminism was as portrayed by right-wing rhetoric. I then took the time to educate myself and spend time with feminist campaigners. And I realised that feminism is a very broad church. There's a lot of debate. There's a lot of people who stand for different things. But ultimately, everybody is working towards their version of equality and it's like a patchwork quilt you have your patch that you sew whatever it is you're passionate about but there are lots of British feminists who are fighting for women overseas as well I think it's very obvious from this conversation that feminism isn't a broad church we've heard attacks on right-wing women we've heard attacks on women who are interested in statistics we've heard attacks on women who would dare question the orthodoxy of feminism I think all this proves to me that as much as I would like it to be a broad church as much as I would like us to have those debates most women cannot fit into the very narrow box that fourth wave feminism has brought on. Most women, of course, I mean, virtually all people you believe in equality, but you though. can't fit into that narrow box. What it means? I've no, no, never no. heard of it. I don't if really... You, if, you, if you dare if you step outside a... these orthodoxies, you're not welcome in the club. Jen on Twitter says, feminism would not need to exist if we had equality. So is it, yeah. there is still... Is feminism needed? Do we need well, no, I, this I mean, movement I think, I think still, saying, in your opinion, actually? Uh, I, you I, don't believe in it, but you believe in something, surely, for well, women. That... I, I believe in equality, and I think that the terms individualism and humanitarianism but, e encompass, for me, the good aspects of feminism from we, the if, past but, 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 and get rid of the modern-day aspects. To give you an example, if, yeah. if, we, if we just said, you know, uh, hu humanism and, 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 and individualism was the way forward, I mean, homosexuality, for example, we had to concentrate on homosexuality. We had to support mm. that group, and without supporting them, without singling out the discrimination they received, they would never have had the rights that they have now. And, it, and surely feminism does the same thing. It supports all it's doing is making the focus and the support for women's rights. That cannot be a bad thing. That can only be a good thing. Now, surely it's like, OK, some people are going to misuse that. Some people are going to become more extreme in that version. But the very basics of feminism, you have to own, surely. If we're looking at the groups that actually champion gay people, women, trans people. You should look to the classical liberals. You should look to those who are fighting for those civil rights. Uh, I, w I wish that what you said were true. I wish that feminism were championing the rights of people, but is much more interested these days. So the celebrities are much more interested in making headlines about sex strikes and about grid girls than they are about the very important issues that you discuss. So I wish we lived in that world, but the reality is that yeah. we don't, and I think feminism well, has now been dominated. Well, also, and, and, well, and, and, I think the listeners yeah. actually gave earlier. I mean, you know, I think yeah. so, I think Most women like don't live in that world that you're talking about. Most women don't identify but with the feminism that you wish existed. Well, I, I, you know, we can talk about most and how many Human beings are tribal animals. We are not meant matters. to exist as individuals. That mm. is catastrophic, both for our society, for our mental health, for our health generally. We are supposed to rely on each other and help each other out. Everybody should be committed to gender equality. And we'll still need feminism after we achieve it, because it would be daft to throw something out that has worked in, in, mm. in order to who isn't achieve equality. gender equality? It is well, look, who isn't? Isn't it? You know, as, as females, you've both been able to express your views equally on the show I and mean, that you know that, that I think feminism is there I think we need to encourage debate and I think it's probably a bit of what you've all been talking about been talking about yeah right? it's fascinating yeah. lovely nice to talk to you both